Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of Limbo Podcast. You already know your boy, Omi Otis, Don Mulapisani, right here at Limbo Podcast. Today we have a special, special, special guest. Uh, I've been looking for this man for quite some time. Uh, he's been ducking and diving. Um, I don't know why, but, you know, he's a busy man. I can understand. I don't have to complain. Um, we've had, uh, you know, people in his category, uh, I think, before. And people kept on pressing, pressing and saying, you know, you need to bring um, more Forex traders, right? So I decided to call the main man. Actually, <laughs> without any waste of time, I have the stock exchange trader and an entrepreneur. Welcome, Leadership Mon. Thank you. Did I say it right? Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. Leadership Mon. Is it? Leadership Mon. Leadership. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Actually, thank you for coming, man. I've, I have been looking for you for quite some time and... It's been hard to get you, but I, I, like I said, I think I understand why um, it would be so difficult uh, to, 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 to get hold of you. How are you doing? I'm nice, man. Yeah? Yeah, I, I love being here. Love, is it? Yeah, I've been wanting to come, you know? Ne? You know your time is something else. Yeah. But yeah, blessed to be here. Thank you so much, man. You look good uh, as usual. <laughs> I try. Yeah. 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 All right, guys. Um, Before we get into the... And to the questions, and I know you want to know about the guy. Uh, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. It will help the channel grow. Uh, let's let's get to know the, the man. So tell me, bro. Um, we 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 see you on social media. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you you're doing big things and all of that. But before we tap into what you already do, right? Let's talk about. Um, Oh, let's let's do a little bit of a background check. Yeah. Where did Mon? Uh, I'm, I'm I'm failing to pronounce the Mon. Is it Monta? I'm Mon, gonna make yeah, it Monta. Monta. Yeah, just pay the Monta. Monta. Yeah. Oh, Monta yeah. for full name. Uh, Monta for Tebato Asheras Monta. Oh, yeah, okay, fine. My actual name is Satech. I don't know if you know Satech. Okay. Satech Malema. That's where the Monta. Oh. Are. Yeah, that's the right. breakdown. Isn't yeah. It? Yeah. Isn't yeah. Yeah. Group? So what, tell me here, where did you grow up? Because there's a confusion uh, uh, about, you know, where you grew up, your, your, like your background check. How is that looking like? Yo, I mean, I grew up in a lot of places, you know? Yeah. So I'm like one of those guys, just the bowl is just full of areas. Yeah. So. But originally, where originally, you from? Yeah. Originally from Limpopo. Okay. Uh, wow, the, nice, yeah. nice, 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 nice. For sure. Wow. Uh, high, you okay. Know? But as you can hear with my tone. Yeah. It's like I'm not from Bodogwa because... Yeah. Born in Budogwa, and then as a kid, I went to my Mbeni. I don't even know my Mbeni is a place. I've never heard of the deep, place. Deep, deep. Um, after Tahala, it's very deep. That's yeah. like near Zanin. That's where I grew up, like my early years, mm. you know. Then probably like early primary grade three. Yeah. I go back to Budogwa. Yeah. And then that's where like the English is not even there. I'm like, <laughs> you know, village kid vibes. Yeah. yeah. And then, yeah, then from there, my mom, my late mom decided... Um, oh, your mom is late. Yeah, my okay. mom is late, you know. So she yeah. decided, no, yeah. um, she's going to um, try to give us a life in the city, you know. Sure. And I'm like, I think grade four, grade three, I don't remember. Mm. And that's when I shifted from Limpopo and I came to Jovek. Yeah. And I ended up in Soweto. And that's how I pick up the Zulu, the Kosa, yeah, and all, all of that, the, you know. So all the languages. Yeah, then that's how the transition happened. But mm. fully Limpopo, 100% cultural guy, religious, you know. Yeah. I'm, I'm that guy. It's just... Yeah. 
we're in the city now, you know. So <laughs> yeah. Now you obviously in the city, you 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 know you 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 start you know seeing things. Of course, that, of course. That yeah. you were not seeing back home. Yeah. And there was something interesting that I read. Uh, it was like, you know, you you used to cut grass for like fifty bucks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like when during your 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 times when you're in high school, you yeah. do this on Saturdays, yeah. right? Yeah. So I want to know, like, growing up, how was your um, high school li- uh, life like? Like okay. your your background in high school. So like for one, me, I mean, when I look at it now, yeah, I can describe it different. Mm. But when I was in that zone, in that phase at the time. Um, I, I I didn't feel how I'm about to describe now, you know. So yeah, I used to cut grass. I used to build with my grand. My grandfather was a construction guy, you know, those okay. house guys. So yeah. cutting grass and all this stuff it was, was ne- part of yeah, yeah. It was like something I knew. I did off the top of my head, you know. Mm. I just come to your house. Hey, what's up? I see your grass is high. I go take my grandfather's machine and then I chop it easy hundred rand for myself. Yeah, you know, it wasn't really a thing of like maybe I'm hustling hundred rand to go take back home. Oh. but it went back home. Yeah, of course. Know? Yeah. So yeah, that's what I did. I, that was like um, my high school. I just after school, I just make sure it wasn't just grass. I sold fair cakes. Mm. You know, throughout primary school, I just sold my queen yeah. every day. Go school. I'm coming to there. I'm coming to there. So yeah. so yeah, this is a lot of lot of stuff that, that I've done. You did, but, yeah. But yeah, the grass cutting was like one of my mm. minimum hustles. Yeah. But yeah, at that time it was like a big thing. And were you like always into like the whole, like in in, in high school, mm. did you do finance or an no. other thing that mm. I have to ask you, did, did you, did you finish your high school? Because we see a lot of Forex traders, yeah. they drop out, you know what I mean? Uh, so did you, did you manage to finish your, your high school? I mean. And were you into finance? Like yeah, for one, no, I wasn't into finance. Okay. And then. To actually just answer that finance part is, I think yeah. it's because um, I have like a very strong entrepreneur background, you mm-hmm. know, like even though the, the entrepreneurs in my family aren't like the most successful, yeah. like one or two, but sure. from my grandfather, like I said, the guy was, he, I've never seen him in a salary, you know? Yeah. Papa now we are hired to 15,000 and then he gives, does this, whatever he has to do. Then for the next two months, there's no money, mm. you know? So I saw the life, you know, I was like, you know what, even though it's a bit wild, but I think I might follow that route, you know. Mm. But I didn't choose it though. It was mm. just like, you know, things happen. And then Luana no Magala over time, like, oh, okay, this is yeah. how it's happening. You sure. know? Yeah. So that's and then the school part, no, I didn't. But I didn't drop out of school because of Forex or being an entrepreneur or anything or my intelligence or anything. Mm. You know? I left school because my family was just literally just struggling to keep up, you know? Oh. Yeah. So remember now I'm the English is from this school I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> And the fees are not, they are unnatural. Like, I went to, I'll give you an example. I went to six different high schools. Sure. Between grade, <laughs> exactly, That's you know, crazy. Between grade eight. Damn, yeah. Between grade eight and grade 11. So okay. you can imagine that the back and forth is not even about whether my I can or I can, I don't want to be there. It's mm. just the financial side of my family was not, I mean, the schools are like 4K, 5, Damn, 3.5. Yeah. That's a lot. My granny earned 3.5. Mm. And my fee was like four something. You know, so it was just that adjustment. And I remember I had to realize I dropped out. You know, I was, because mm. now I'm, I'm like in grade nine and sure. my hustler mindset, my entry, I, I'm there, like I wake up every day, three o'clock I'm up. So I used to play soccer. I don't okay. know if, yeah, you know, nice. I've been, I, I mean, professionally, yeah. you know, so um, I would wake up three, four every day. I wake up training before school, I go to school after school. Then from there I leave training. Then I go help my grandfather what he does. Mm, mm. We do our fat cake stuff, like, you know, yeah. so it just came a time where um, I just wasn't able to like, you know, because I'm a child, you know, I wasn't able to, I don't know, like I say, like align everything in order. Yeah. And sometimes I'm skipping school. And then you find out like, nah, now I'm really tired. I've been up since last night making mm-hmm. fat cakes. Yeah. You know, all of those stuff. So, and then two, three months on the line, I was, I just realized like, yo, I haven't been to school in a while. Sure. Then you, you know, end up, yeah, yeah. Then my grandfather fought me, my granny fought me, everybody. But, you know, I also wanted to go back to school. My intention yeah. was, you know. It's called Ongitla Well, like yeah. maybe next month. Would you ever go back though? Uh, I'm trying to actually. Yeah. I'm trying to right now as you speak. I'm trying to I'm trying to find a way I could get my metric, mm. uh, go back to school, get my metric and without having to distract, uh, distract like mm. spa and other yeah, business yeah. that I've got. Yeah. yeah. But um, the, um, my current goal as we speak. It's to, to, to yeah, go back because I want, actually want to go to varsity. Oh. So that, that's my plan. Okay, I'm going to want to study. You're going to apply major pressure. And, unless if you go with an Uber every day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just going to it's gonna be war. But what can I say? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Tell me here. Actually, first I wanted to give you, a, 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 I don't know if, if it's a compliment or what, but yeah. you, you are basically a living proof that 
you know, you can still become something uh, in life, even if you don't finish, you know, your metric or mm -hmm. the, the, the standards that have been set for us in life. Yeah, so yeah, the sure. fact that you've, you've managed to become who you are today mm -hmm. outside, uh, you know, the, the 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 um, I don't know the parameters or whatever yeah. it shows that you can still become something in life. So I, I'm I'm actually impressed. You didn't just sit back because yeah. a lot of people they can drop out and you know and become nothing. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, thanks. Man. Yeah, I appreciate that. I'm actually impressed. The the fat cake thing. Um, also, 11, 12 years ago, you said. Yeah. Uh, outside, you know, Buspa ran mm. back. You were selling fat cakes and all of that. How was that experience? Like, were you not embarrassed uh, to do so? Like, because most of the time, especially as a boy, yeah. you know, it, it happens that you're not really comfortable with the thing, but you just have to do it because you have to make, or you, don't, you did not even understand what the process is because sometimes you don't really care whether it's happening mm. or not. You're just in the mix because, yeah, you've got your grandfather with you. Ish, I think... For me, uh, one, I grew, I grew up with the, I, I naturally had a very low self-esteem, confidence-wise, you know, because of just height and all that stuff, you know, mm. and just because I came into a, uh, um, an English school as a Mulawedu boy, you know, yeah. the challenge is not normal. So for me to come and now sell fed cakes, it's, it's like I was crushed, you know, Ish. but because I understood, like, I wouldn't say I understood why my, my grandparents were doing it, but I would see the money yeah. transact from, uh, like, you know, flour in the mm. house to oil, to, to sleepless nights, to the bucket, yeah, yeah. from the bucket to the to the client, yeah. and then the money to us, and then to getting me clothes. Yeah. When I saw that whole, when I witnessed that whole process each and every single day, I was embarrassed, one, definitely, but I was happy that it's doing something, you know, because I never lacked anything. Mm. And, and I think uh, it just made like a permanent mark on, on my life up until the transition happened, mm. you know. So throughout my whole primary and high school, um, I couldn't even approach girls. Mm. I couldn't. I, I mean, you can imagine, right before I dropped out, mm -hmm. or right before I left school or started hustling, sure. I had only dated like two people from primary and high school, only two people, which actually tolerated me, you know? So mm. it, 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 yeah, it, it did crush me, but yeah. it didn't, it didn't give me... Are you still in it. contact with those people? Or you... No, of course not. Yeah. Of course, not in a bad way, but it's just like... I yeah, know, I get you. Yeah, yeah. you've moved on with mm, life. Mm, you know, yeah. yeah. But yeah. no, it did challenge me. Like, yo, I... I I'm still working on myself. I'm mm. still working on my confidence. Still working on my, you know, just like in, like in the, the deeper, yeah, um, like uh, depression yeah. challenges. You know, just like you know, because I mean, emotionally, especially the background that I come from, mm. um, which I don't know if a lot of people relate. We don't ha we, we don't speak we don't speak to parents about what you're going through. Mm. You don't speak yeah, about, you're right your, about that. Yes. You know, all <laughs> So you you soldier on. You know, like, yeah. So only now, like only now, man. When I look back, I'm like. Oh, I think I was depressed then. Mm. But, but, but when I was in the phase, it yeah. was just what I knew that my family could do. And yeah. I never knew better anyway. I yeah. never, I never knew it like an R8 or M4 or yeah. F4 par. Like yeah. I never knew nothing. I mean, sure. you know, it, it's only when I got exposed. That's what the danger was. Cause my, I remember when I was, when I was struggling with depression a couple of years ago, uh, that I wasn't struggling with, with depression because of, of something that was currently happening. It's because that all the things that had happened back then only hit me at that time. Mm. So only at that point, you know, and I had like hundred thousand, and I'm like, oh, salaga so go you know, and then then I'm like, now it's it's challenging me now because I'm trying to change the situation at home. I'm, yeah, I'm trying to make sure my brother doesn't go through the same, my cousin don't do, go through the same thing, people that I'm mentoring don't go through the same thing. So then I, I just started going through a lot. So it night it, it it broke me down. Nah. Yeah, it wasn't. Yeah, I wouldn't want to see anybody because I know no, most of the time we don't you don't feel it when when you're there, especially yeah. as a child, as yeah. like any teenager, but like 16 and below, yeah. you don't feel it. You don't feel you anything. Don't yeah, feel like it. you just go with the yeah. steps. You and know if you mean? don't ever come out of it, you'll never know you were there. Yeah. So that's that's the only, you know, but I, it did, it did. Yeah. It was a challenge. So when when do you now decide that um, I'm stepping into this thing called Forex trading and what pushed you into it? Yeah, and I that that's, that's an interesting one. Um, So my entire life, um, I'm going to school, I'm doing things with my grandfather selling fit cakes and, you know, just spending yeah. time. But what I, what I was doing 100% of my time was playing soccer. Yeah. 
You know, as, played, as you said, yeah. yeah. I played soccer like like my whole life from from a kid. My grandfather mm-hmm. would drive me to soccer because he he used that to distract me yeah. from other things that were happening in the yeah, world, yeah. Or, you know, from whether it be drugs or any other stuff. Yeah, you know, because I never smoked a cigarette or even like drank alcohol till the age of twenty. Mm. You know, so discipline. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's just my grandfather was just like that. You know, so I played soccer my whole life, and even when I was comfortable with leaving school, it was not because of forex. It was because of soccer. Mm. I went to Spain for football and I came back. Wow. You know what I mean? So I played for Orlando Paris Developments. I played for Augusto Palacios. Yeah. You know, I'm, I, I've, you know, Mayfair, I played wow. for, you know, I've, my soccer side is yeah. the reason why I'm, I'm actually, why I had the courage because yeah, that yeah. soccer, self-esteem is important. You're not going to be a star in football. So you can imagine I'm there selling fat cakes and I'm so like embarrassed. Then in the afternoon, yeah. I must be the most confident person on the field. Mm-hmm. That that thing, well, well, like my life has always been transactional. Emotionally though, mm-hmm. you know, like I could just couldn't keep up with my character mm-hmm. all the time. So um, I leave I leave school hoping that football would change my life. Mm. So I'm back from Spain. Things don't go as, as planned and I'm kind of demotivated, you know. And I had to stick around for like three, four months hoping to go back to school. Then I got an opportunity to go to France. So between my France visa preparation, mm. then my grandfather was like, yo, I want to go to And the scale of the previous money that took it to Spain was not my money. You know what I did? Bro, I, I printed, I wish I came with it. I printed a PDF, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, that had my bank details there and my story, right? Mm. And a link to my YouTube, to my, no, yeah. not even YouTube channel, sorry, to my Facebook videos because I just yeah. post my things on Facebook. yeah, yeah. And I would go knocking door to door. That's what actually got me to drop out because I would spend time knocking to people. Like there were times where I would walk from Ramble. I walked from Melville ne, to, I don't know if you know, China Mall in Mayfair. Mm. I would walk from there. That's the whole day. I did that for two months straight, each and every single day. And Damn. those two months I was not in school. So when I said I dropped out, it was not intentional. Mm. I was trying to get money for me to go overseas to Spain. Wow. And I gathered the money, but then obviously I had to abandon school indirectly, which I was not aware. Sure. I was trying to get, and I did get, I gathered about 70,000 rand. Um, and then, um, or oh, in that 70, there was family members who came through, gave like, you know, 5,000, mm. who came with big amounts. But I was calling like 20 rands, 30 rands, 70, Any 80. amount. Yeah, any amount. And um, yeah, that's that's just how the whole transition happened. And then I get overseas, I come back. So my grandfather's like, no, we were guy, but I got really more so funny. Yeah. Solution again. Yeah. And I'm like, Baba, uh, France, yeah. You know, I'm 16 years at that time, bro. Yeah. I just love this whole football, you know. I'm so you know, interested because you know we share the same. I think uh, I'm I'm such a big it, fan of, of of football, and, and that's how it happens. And and now um, my grandfather can't financially do anything for France, and at that point I'm like, how? Oh, I'm not going back to knock on people's doors. They'll just think now I want to like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it's like you know, I'm playing with you them. You want to rip them off, yeah. And then in the midst of all of that. Um, so I'm just trying to get a school to go to because the previous school, obviously, they don't count me in anymore. Mm. And then I'm just on Facebook, man, and these Forex things are popping up. I'm like, what is this? People are making money, you know? And I'm like, so I Google, but it's not adding up, man. One and two. Mm. Um, and then I was on Instagram, and then I came across, um, it was some, like, it was just a name, like Jason. I'm like, come on, Jason. And I opened. I just saw a picture with him, and he was holding money. Mm. And then I, when I check location, it's a Pretoria. I'm like, eh, that man will be done. Okay. Yeah. I, I'm going to find him. Yeah. You know, uh, the, but in the midst of trying to locate Jason Noah, his name is Jason Noah. Um, that's the guy I first really ever met to ask anything about Forex. To nice. go Shout introduce me to this. How does it work? How yeah. do you make money? You know, but in the midst, took me about three months to find him. And in all of that, I'm on YouTube looking for knowledge. I was learning so much information from YouTube. Mm. Or, you know, I'm seeing people. Because now I'm trying to dig into the information. Yeah. You know, and then I eventually... Um, as I'm learning on YouTube, I then find, like, I mean, I'm putting money away, like, with the Sasa money, because I'm a, I'm an orphan child. So I was getting about 1.3 something from Sasa. Mm. So I was putting that away as well. Okay. And at this point... So, so, Robert, mm. before you, you, you carry on, orphan child, do you mind, if you'll yeah. come back to it, can you just a little bit briefly uh, uh, yeah, tell so, us so how, basically, how that happened? Um, yeah, I was raised, but I was raised by my grandparents. Yeah. From Udawanyan and Vaga. My mom passed away 2008, somewhere in July. <laughs> yeah, somewhere in July. Um, I was 10, 10 or 9. Mm-hmm. My younger brother was 3. Yeah. 
And then my dad really, my dad has never been in the picture. I came back in the picture like when I was like 16, or oh, my football time when I was in Spain. I heard, hey. he, I heard he was looking for me. Yeah. But I'm fan of Yoga Musa. <laughs> you know, I'm sure you heard that now. Let me run to this boy before he blows yeah. up, you know? Yeah. So when I came back, I tried making time with him. You know, I really just forgave him. I was a kid. I didn't know what happened between yeah. him and mom, so I didn't want to get involved. Sure, sure thing. So I, I locked in with him. He, I met him on my birthday on the 4th of December that year when I came back from Spain. Mm -hmm. And then he told me he was going back to work. Uh, he'll come back and see me the following month on the 4th. 4th of December. Uh, yeah. and Jay-Z type. <laughs> you know, and then, uh, yeah, he said, you promised to be back a month later on the 4th. Mm. And then, yeah, um, a month later on the 4th, I got a call, heard that he was alcohol poisoned and then passed away. Mm. So, yeah, so that's how I, but he's never really been in the picture, you mm. know, so I would never, I felt the pain of, Hopefully we could have built something. Yeah, yeah. But in terms of like, ah, bah, 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 tofage, ah yeah. no, I never, it never really hit sure. me like that, you know. So now but, um, back to mm -hmm. the, the, what I, I got you, what, 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 what pushed you into the thing? Like you mm -hmm. were just trying to, you know, you were tired of it. Now you met this guy. Yeah. And yeah. Oh yeah. So yeah. I, so obviously I built up. I've saved, saved up my money. I'm, I've been finding accounts. You know, I make like little profit, fifty dollars, seventy dollars, but mm. it's not adding up the way I'm seeing it on social media. Yeah. I'm like, and, and that's that's the thing. Yeah, like the we, secret maybe is mm, out there, you know. Yeah. So I hit up Jason. Jason, no, um, I was making so much money. So I he responds. Yeah, he responds actually. Yeah, thank God. Fortunately, I spoke to him directly. Mm. He's like, "Yo, I'm in Pretoria. Come through this coming weekend." So I go to Jason Noah. I meet him and I tell him who I am, what I'm about, and what's my vision. I tell him, I show him what I've learned and what I know. And then um, I just exposed my knowledge to him. Like, yo, this is as much as I know. And I think, do you think it's good enough? He's like, yeah, no, it's good. I think, let me give you, let me show you a bit more. Let's share a bit of information. And he taught me mm. um, how he trades. And then when I took that and then I, I put it with, with how I trade and, and all the knowledge that I kept getting ever since, it just yeah. became... What, what, yeah. what it is today. Yeah, it just, it, it just kept growing. It just kept you know, growing. there's something that I always ask, you know, people of your, your stature, like... And everybody has a di different definition of it, yeah. right? What, according to you, according to your knowledge and according to your um, experience, yeah. what, what, what is the definition of Forex trading? Look, I mean, the simplest way uh, to really place it, Forex trading, if, if, if somebody's really trying to understand what mm. it's really about and you want to walk away from all the talks about scams and, what, mm. you know, and money, investment, and all of that other stuff, you know, Forex trading is literally... It's, it's all about buying and selling of currencies, one against the other, Yeah, you know? But if you want to get a bit deeper, then we can speak about, like, now the news, how news impact the, the, the trading, or if maybe um, the dollar drops or something, mm. Russia blows up this, you know? Yeah, yeah. So that's a whole different side of trading, okay. which we call fundamentals. Yeah. But trading is really just a matter of buying and selling currencies, one against the other. Yeah. You know? It's like, you know, if, if I open a chart and I predict that, look, the rand would be would, would go to 20 rand to the dollar within 10 days based on my analysis. I then put my money on that. And if it does, as I see it, then I make money. Mm. You know, if I if it doesn't, then I lose money. Yeah. You know, so that's why people, but that's the part that kind of confuses people because other mm. people think it's a betting game. Yeah. Because of the buy and selling, you know. <laughs> yeah. this, is a, this is an entire career. It's yeah. an entire career. But there's a difference there, right? Yeah, there is, there is, there is, there is, there is. They use, I mean, trading is nothing close to betting. One. Mm. It's a it's a proper career. It's you wake up in the morning, you open your laptop, you check what am I gonna make money on today? Mm. And you can imagine how many currencies there are in the world. Many. How I many? How many stock exchange companies you yeah. can trade? You can trade Coca Cola. Coca Cola. You can I, trade Apple. Apple. You yeah. can you can trade on almost anything as long as it's there. You make money on yeah. it. You know, it's just people just don't get the concept, which is okay. People, um, you know, we're living in a time where people are really not trying to adjust with what's happening. You mm. know? The internet is moving. Exactly. The internet is the new they, money, they, you know? So, um, I mean, kids are making money from for just posting stuff. Yeah. Kids are making money for posting YouTube videos. Mm. People are making money from TikTok, you know? People are... So, people just need to adjust. Mm. Forex trading is a part of that field. It's mm. it's the leading field, not even a part of it. It's the anchor yeah. of the internet money. You sure. know, there's no internet space that's making money or even circulating more than Forex trading. We are moving at about, I think, over... I think I'm not too sure. Last time I checked, it was about over seven trillion US dollars yeah. which circulated daily. No field, even golf doesn't do more than that. You know, so even if I had to kind of say no, trading is part of the internet money. Even if it's not, it does. It just dominates. Football mm. has, does not have enough money. Like, you know, the money that we're seeing from the World Cup, the Qatar's, mm. yeah. those people have their money in the stock exchange. Mm. You know, the money is here. If 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 the stock market crashes, the world is done. So, so it, by having you here, basically. 
you are losing a bit of your money that you're supposed to be making right now. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'll, I'll run out. <laughs> no, no, not even, man. Um, look, I mean, unless if I'm, I've got trades running right now. But yeah. if I don't have any trades running, you know, my money is safe. All right. Yeah, you've got so trading is then you choose when to trade and when not to trade. Okay. You know, where, whereas with billionaires like Elon Musk and other people, mm. they have their wealth constantly, con continuously just, sure, okay. just moving, yeah. just moving, you know. We'll get there. Okay, mm. hopefully someday. Now nah, you will. You know, have a brand or some sort of big company out there that's just yeah. growing without us being in control. Sure. But yeah, this is the, this is the journey and this is, this is the path for it. Mm. Tell us about um, the, the RCG market, right? Yeah. Is this your company? Or you guys work as a team as well? No, man. RCG Market is a, is a brokerage firm. You know, it's a okay. broker. Um, you can literally just Google it. Uh, the CEO is up there. So it's, it's a broker. I think it was founded in 2018. Okay. You know, it's a, it's a very... One of, one, one of the best reasons why I love RCG Market is because it's just a platform. It's smooth. I think I was one of the first people, if not, to ever try it out or, to, or trade with it, you know? Okay. And then, um, yeah, ever since I've, I just started trading with it, it's been smooth, man. Okay. And they've come up with something different, you know? They really support black people mm. uh, and black vision. And, you know, they, we go out to charities, we empower. I'm just really with them because of their vision. Yeah. They When when I hit them up, obviously you make money and they hit me up. Mm -hmm. And then um, I ask you, oh, what are you guys about? And then they're like, no, beyond just trading, we have a vision like this, like this. And then I went in for the meeting, they told yeah. me, listen, I'm like, this is my vision. I, I was impacting lives in high schools. I was giving women sanitary pads for free. I was mm. buying kids food each and every year, each and every month for free yeah. out of my own pocket. I did realize that you yeah. also have a foundation. You understand? Yeah. So when RCG came and they said, look, here's the vision. Mm -hmm. And I said, I said, I just realized it aligns. Yeah. And you know, when they first spoke, you know, sometimes words to action, sometimes you're like, ah, are you guys going to meet that? <laughs> and now for it's yeah. a year later, and I'm more than happy. Yeah. The amount of successful traders that have come out of it is like yeah. people like MAPS, there's Bandile. There's so many young individuals who have mm. been touched by RCG market sure. because more than that, it's a lifestyle. Yeah. You know, they've made this whole recognition. It's called the Royal Circle. Okay. So it's like when you trade with RCG market, mm. you, you consider your royalty. Oh. Like you're, in, you're safe. Sure. You, you know, yeah. that's how it is. So, yeah, I mean, their the vision for us was for the, for the forex trading, for the industry, for the vision for us, for me, was is, is untouchable. Mm. You know, it's unmatched. And I mean, the only thing is not even the beginning. You mm. know, when I say it's not the beginning, it's not. You yeah. Know? Um, the impact is... Then we have something called, we've got a big tour that's coming now that's going to go all over colleges, high schools, all over the country. Nice. Maybe able to, Because they just want to touch lives. Mm. They want us, because we're leading, we're in the forefront. You know, yeah. we, we're the people who want to pass on the image. We want to rectify the, the, the image of Forex. You know, Forex okay. is not, I mean, we won't lie. Yeah, people, those who know Forex trading know us. Mm. But the image, the actual image of Forex is not how it should be. So we want to lead from the front and we want to show people that, listen, Forex trading is not what you think. It's yeah. not. It's not what it's portrayed to be. Yeah. This thing you can be in university and do it. You yeah. know, I don't want to obviously mention any names, but there's so many people, professionals that you know right now. I can name over twenty that I've taught out of my own hands, mm. who are professional, who, who, who are millionaires before forex, and and are trading right now, making more millions. You know, wow. there's a guy of mine. I don't want to mention his name, Limpopo as well. You know, that guy makes about over four million rand a month. And his profession wait, makes wait, him. Wait, wait. You know so I mean? how much are you making? You know, <laughs> so, but we'll get to that. Yeah, you know, yeah, so yeah. I'm just giving you an example of this industry should never be sidelined for something that's mm. it's a survival. Let's say maybe if you're an actor, you fail at acting, run to forex. No, mm. do it with acting. Sure. You understand? There's musicians, you know, musicians that I don't want to, you obviously can't mention names, yeah. who are begging on a daily. People are just like, how is this guy affording such good videographers, have such good content? How yeah. did he buy that car? You know, it's because of these people are trading on a low. They're making so much money and like, they're just not posting about it. Mm. You know, it's just so... I know, you, you're dropping some gems. You know, oh, yeah. the vision, Forex just needs to be cleared. It needs to be given a, a, a safety platform, mm. a, a field where kids can be very comfortable to reach mm. for it. Because right now, the first thing anybody thinks of before they can reach for Forex, like, you know, there's like this bottle here. Yeah. Before they can reach for like, hey, maybe there's Alipi <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> so we need to put the industry that, that and that's my vision with sure. the Royal Soko, with RCG. And um, and I think we're holding it up pretty, pretty well, you know. Mm. They understand my vision, I understand yeah. theirs. And with anybody who comes within the Royal Soko and uh, they understand that, yo, listen, we're not it's not about flexing, you know. When I post the R8, it's not about flexing. I'm not trying to look cool to another kid. Mm. I'm just trying to make it clear, yo, just understand, bro, this thing is possible. And it's so it's so possible, yeah. bro. Like I promise you, it, it's so possible because everything. I'm doing now, whether it be financially, from cars, from a house, from business, I just never saw it two years ago. 
Some Just stuff two years ago, two, yeah. even a year ago. Some mm. stuff I never saw a year mm. ago. You know, so there's some stuff that I'm doing now. I only planned three weeks ago. Yeah. You know, so I could never like really um kind of hold back, hold that back from from the kids. You know, the kids I'm talking about, the young people who mm. want it as hard as I do. Mm. You know, I come across a lot of these people. And I'm yeah. like, I know you want it, bro. But the solution is how do you get there? Mm. And the platform is here. And that's what RCG came to give to us. Nice. You know? Now, you, you, your, what is it? Your master class, your yeah. classes, yeah, right? Yeah. <clears throat> they happen to be different uh, compared to other brokers. And you, uh, from what I know, uh, you, you don't charge anybody or you do them at for all. free. At all, yeah. Um, and why why is that? Why do you why did you choose a different route? So one uh, one RCG market doesn't uh, currently does not offer like teaching classes or at all. Okay, because don't actually do that. Yeah. You know, us who have maybe academies or institutions do that, right? Mm. So I realized that in order for me to, because it will be very difficult for for me to see forex traders become millionaires or become successful, mm -hmm. or even just do a living for themselves yeah. with RCG market if I'm not educating them. Sure. And it's, that, it's, like, it's like me telling you, come trade, mm -hmm. but yet I'm not, I'm not giving you knowledge to trade. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know? So, That's, so yeah. the best way I could ever done it was just making my master classes extremely free, you know, and understanding mm -hmm. that it's a big risk, one, mm -hmm. financially broken the venues, but like a broker like RCG understands the vision. Yeah. You know, um, I remember when I was speaking to the owner, the CEO himself, um, and I was just so happy with with the way he just understood what I wanted. Yeah. And the best thing is that they're not doing anything to 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 impress my vision. Mm. We our vision just come up as they wanted because he has the same vision. The owner was actually a, a mentor before. Mm. You okay. understand? So yeah. so so him and I are literally on the same line because yeah. I'm a current I'm currently a mentor. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, listen, I'm not as far as you are. Yeah. But I've got the vision too, yeah. and then he understood my vision, and we're just going to go together like that. Mm -hmm. So that's why my master classes are extremely free, yeah. no price. You just come through with the RCG Market account, yeah. our like registration. From there, I teach you. Then yeah. you can go try your trading out and wow. see if it works out for you, man. And then, um, what what would you say uh, separates you from other forex traders? Um, should it be successful yeah. ones, and yeah. those that may also go broke okay. you know what i mean because sometimes the, the, the people would say you know you know work mm -hmm. hard but sometimes working hard it, it, it's not of course. it's not really the thing it's never it never cuts it it's not enough so what, what would you say separates you from 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 the rest bro to be honest with you you know like um in this, in this industry uh i've been here for a couple of years you know mm. and i've been through the phases of financial i've gone broke a couple of times mm. you know i'm um, I went, I, I mean, I've gone broke to a point where I was selling my cars for like 50K, you know? What? The? Yeah, like during COVID, you know, I went through a very hard time during COVID. I had to pick up again. I went through another challenge like last year, you know? Mm. It's just that I've, I've only really been flat broke once. Yeah. And then I, I had to build my back up again. Sure. Um, other than that, I went through certain challenges that mm. I felt like, yo, now things are bad. Yeah. You know? um, and all these things are life lessons for me, you know? And I, I, I was just going, I'm like, what is it I'm not doing right? Because I, I can't trade. I can't make money. Mm. Maybe I need a financial advisor. Maybe mm. I need a psychologist. Maybe I don't know money. So people need to understand Forex trading is, is, is the whole term of Forex trader does not describe who you are. Mm. It describes what you are doing okay. or how you make money. You know, because trader, remember speaks, trading, trader means trading. You understand? Mm. When you're a Forex trader, you're actually an entrepreneur. First, you need to have, you need to be very smart with money. Because shelter at Zainana, it's in salar. It's an every now and then, mm -hmm. and sometimes I did. So that means you need to be, if you make 50,000 a month, then tell yourself, I want to pay myself 8.5. From that, yeah. From that. Then you know, the rest is... You know, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, so what kills a lot of traders the most is just the intelligence behind the money we make. You know, because I've seen myself. Mm -hmm. I'm not even going to talk about anybody. I've seen it happen to myself. Bro. I, I went from one moment I had about close to about 4 million rand in the account, you know? And then next thing, I'm struggling to put together like 100K. So is it is it how I spend my money? Is it how is it? Am I blowing too much? My what's going? Am I too much spending too much time in the club? You know, am I reckless? You know, so that's what that's one thing right now that I've mastered. So I've I know how it is when I when you look at the people I've mentored, like hmm. people like Bob Maps, Bob Bandi, Le Bob Kelly, um, uh, Mazui, Le Dwaba, all these are all these you know, hmm. um, Bayanda, hmm. you know, my brothers like Young Amo. You look at everybody like Abe. You know, you look at everybody yeah. I've 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 been with in the same space. They'll tell you this guy, 
shares with you what he's currently, what he has put together from his entire experience. You know what I mean? Mm. So a lot of traders really sideline the reality with our industry. This thing of thinking I can just find 10,000 and then get out of the go to a shop. Go flow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's not taking it in the right direction, sure. you know. Um, like I said, bro, I think I could have I could have bought an R8 three years ago. Mm. You know, I could have done it, I don't know, two years ago. You know, it's just I had to plan, you know, mm. financially and say, okay, sure. when I spend this amount of money, am I not going to need it? Mm. You know, my mom, is she not going to need it? You know, and, and I remember... Um, just a few couple of days before I, I bought it, mm. I said my granny like 15,000. I'm like, I'm a grease. Just no balance. Yeah. We are going to Yeah. I want to, you know, so just, I would nice. So yeah. it's just the intelligence, bro. To answer you on that is, um, what's, what a lot of traders are lacking is, uh, it's something I like, you know, I wouldn't hold them accountable. Mm. You know, but anybody who's going to see this, you know, they just need to understand the psychological part of trading, you know, mm. put your money away. Sure. You don't have to be, you don't have to drive an R8 like leadership. Yeah. You know, you can have the money in your account. I like instead, that. I like know. that. You don't have to yeah. drive an R8 like leadership. You know what I mean? <laughs> so that, that's the, the whole concept. I'm not trying to have people um, driving supercars, mm. bro. You know, I'm just living my life. And, yeah. And then now I'm not going to go away. Yeah, I've I've seen I love that. cars, I've bro. Seen that. You know? So that has nothing to do with trading or nothing to do with my money. If I've yeah. got the money, I'll do it. Sure. You know, um, I'm the, I'm just that guy. So I don't want people misunderstanding what forex trading is yeah. because of my lifestyle yeah. and how I do it. You yeah. know, and how I what I dress. You know, one moment I met Mr. Price, the next thing you Gucci. Yeah. So what can you keep up? It's a problem. You just like <laughs> it, you'd never really sure understand. Thing. Yeah. You know? So you just just I just want people to really eat on what's productive. Mm. Which is important, the educational part. Like, nice. I'm there. That's even on my life. You never find me on, on, on social platforms trying to discourage people because I know that I'm just trying to give up. The reason I'm on social media, bro, is to touch lives. Yeah. Nothing more. I'm not there to post about, hey, you can post that retail. Like, you want to, with somebody have a phone. I don't feel I'm motivated. I'm here. Or, damn, I wanna look and at some of now. the peers that know you from exactly. way back. Yeah, I'm not even about those. If, if, if I didn't have a vision to change lives, to touch lives, to impact lives, I wouldn't be on the and social you always media. always talk about that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because, I, I mean, I can make my money even if I'm not on social media. Mm. You know, I just wake up in the morning, I'm on my laptop and I multiply mm. stuff, you know. Yeah. So, uh, in terms of, I'm just on the media there. And I feel grateful to have that platform at the sure. same time. To be like, okay, I feel, here's, here's, a, here's, a, here's a 24-year-old yeah. who has an metric. You know, who learned English in grade five, he, yeah. who had no parents, who has mm. no father, who was raised by a 70-year-old granny, who was living in a back room, who was selling fed cakes, who used to work from Melvin to Mayfair, Mayfair to Joseph, small street, you know, you know, who are selling phones. He is, this is the guy. This is the guy. Because, bro, I wake up sometimes and I'm just like, oh, I'm motivated. Yeah, I know you have a story, bro. I, you know, I'm, I'm actually and, inspired as well. And that's why I keep myself humble. Like, the humbleness is not something I, it's not an act. I can't. It's there. I, yeah, I go know you so deep. Yeah, I can't because wow, man. I know, like it's like, like I know, I, it it almost feels unreal. Yeah, it's like ah, I see the array, but like oh, <laughs> yeah, I know I'm still capable of selling my queen and stuff. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. so I can never hold myself beyond who, who who have been raised to mm. be. You know, I can have positions and make the money. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't, you know, I think that's also one thing that trade for sure doesn't say. Just remain humble, you know. Yeah. The world knows we make money than a lot of people. Yeah. You know, nice, I, man. I mean, if this, this, this is a common forex trader statement like this, you know, like, I can make your salary right now. <laughs> you, you understand what yeah. I'm saying? But that's, that's dangerous because it sounds cool right now, but when it goes sure. out there, this is a clip that the whole world is going to see for the next hundreds of years. Ah. And I'm telling somebody that forex trading will make people's salaries right now. Yeah. You're not really aligning the how it's supposed to be, nice, you know. Yeah. So I would I don't encourage anybody to really follow um all the other stuff yeah. around the industry. So much all the politics. Wisdom. You know, because every industry has politics. Yeah. True that. Forex trading now is so big and even as celebrities. It's it's something that shocks me. Yeah. You know, I'm like, I oh. wanted to ask you that question. Yeah, like, like you know, do you do, do you put do you regard yourself uh when like when you wake up in the morning or when you're sitting, like yeah, yeah. do you feel like you belong in that category of being a celebrity or you just accept however people uh, get to treat you no man i don't think i don't think i'm a celebrity yeah uh, at all man i don't i don't uh, like i was saying i don't put myself in in an, in, in unmonetizable spaces yeah you know I'm, i don't want to be i can go for my more than yeah you know i nice. just want to focus on what i'm doing. i don't put myself on a platform that i that doesn't even need me you know forex trading has nothing to do with fame you know none of that if I'm popular for something, then so be that. But I'm not there. You know, I I I, I move like a normal guy. You know, I'm just like any other businessman yeah. who's just hustling. I don't consider myself. I don't even 
Even when I get to places, I don't even expect special treatment. Yeah. I don't want to. If, I, if I'm in VIP, I'm there because maybe I want to say about whatever. But now, I always want to be in the mosh pit. I want to be in the crowd. Yeah. You know, I'm that guy. And, and I'm tiny. So yeah. if I just put on my drip nicely, I cover my face. <laughs> they don't see me. I mean, the one time I was in a club and yeah. I was bumping with, with the students there. They sure. didn't see Till the one guy was like, how oh, leadership? Mm. I'm like, ah, oh, chief. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, no, I don't consider myself as, I don't even see myself like that. I get a bunny, and I'm all at all. Mm. Like, I, I don't even try to hide it. I'm not even trying to avoid it. Sure. I'm not there at all. I'm not, I'm not in all mm. of that. Tell me, why do you think um, it has become a trend that Forex traders uh, are scammers uh, uh, instead of like being looked at as, you know, a legis- legitimate people who are doing business. Yo, and yo. I think you've kind of mm. touched a little bit on it when you were uh, giving your, 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 your background about yeah. your Forex. Uh, but why do you think it is that you guys are associated too much with being sh- scammers? Bro, it's a sad one, you know. Uh, the stigma comes way back, you know. Mm. Um, it's something that um, it, it's, that's traveling in the industry because sure. of, one, the way we make money is close to unrealistic. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, it's yeah, almost it like, is. <laughs> it is, yeah, it, it's unrealistic. It's almost like, ah, there's a story there. Mm. You know, it's, it's, the money is made so continuous, so consistent, so well, and so high, bro, that even if there was no scams around the industry, like, or even rumors, it's just not, not believable. You know, I mm. never believed it till, I'm, till now. You started doing it, yeah. You know, so I think that's one. The, that's the main problem. Mm. We, we make unrealistic money. Yeah. Like small boys are making money, you know. And kids, you know, you can find a great 11 year boy, actually, maybe in school, actually 100,000 cash. Yeah. Showing his friends. Ape. You you wouldn't believe that. Ah, I get it for us. That's where ape you know, dropped out. Yeah, exactly. That's <laughs> ape, you know. So so it, that's the first, um, uh, f- you know, bad or like bad stigma on, yeah. on, the, on the industry. You yeah. Know? And then yeah, to take it for to get forward, I think the whole scammer thing, it's it 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 travels from like people fake accounts, you know, like mm. I've got fake accounts that you know take people's money, take people's stuff and all yeah, of that. So and yeah. this happens to each and everyone. So um and it's it's an easy industry to 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 fool people, mm. to mislead people. Yeah. You know, bro, I can tell you now, like I ah no, uh, I can text you on WhatsApp, you know, me and leadership, give me under rand, I can give you three hundred. Or, or, or nine nine thousand in two hours, you know. These things are happening right now as I speak. People are a lot of people. We are fighting those things daily. That is mm. why the vision with RCG Market is like that. Mm. You know, we want to we want to say next time when somebody texts us, say, "Give me two runs for for hundred runs." Sure. All right, eh? that's not forex. Sure. Forex is going to trace also. So, yeah, so yeah, forex yeah. is one thing. To, so that's that's the vision. That's what we were trying to do. You know. So, I mean, the scam, the scam psychology, the scam everything that's happening in the industry. Mm. I don't think I can fight the war on my own and finish yeah. it. But I've started it. Nice. You know, it's 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 a it's a proper movement. Yeah. With the we and it's not. I'm not just the one leading it now. Mm. I'm not even leading it. I'm, in fact, I'm pushing it from the back. You nice. know. Nice. And uh, it's not going to end now. Mm. You know, even after I'm gone. I want the people who are going to become traders, who are yeah. going to become royalty, yeah. who are going to trade with, with you know, with RCG, uh, with RCG Market, and know that once you make the money, mm. go out and tell the people that this thing is real, and don't just sit at home and say, ah, as long as we are, you know. But obviously, not just not all of us are, are mm. leaders. Not all of us are want to be out there. Like yeah. I mentioned, some few people, uh, they not they don't want to be in the public mm. platform. But those who have the platform and um, have the power to speak to the people and let them know what the reality of the industry is. Sure. Let, let's clear the scam thing on, on, on the industry because it's bad. It's affecting yeah. the people. There's a lot of people who should be here, but they're not because of stuff yeah. that we don't know. In terms of risk, mm-hmm. what, are, what are some of the things that one should be cautious of when getting into what you are doing? Um, like I said, trading is, is like being an entrepreneur. Yeah. You know? um, but I think the risk part um, really only starts when you start making money mm-hmm. and putting your money inside. You know, only trade money, you only trade with money that you're comfortable with yeah. using, you know, or money that you prepare yourself to trade with, yeah. you know? And um, when when we get into the risk ratio, man, it really just depends once you get deep and start trading, then you know what to risk, what not to risk, like mm-hmm. how much money you want and all of that, you know? Mm-hmm. But um, the industry on its own itself, being a part of it, okay. um, the risk is just as normal as taking a walk in the street, you know? And what I mean by that is that uh, just being here on my own, I, I could have bumped, I could have, I could have, I could have got hit by a car, Ish. you know. So that's the risk of trading. It's the same as life. 
Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. So, so the risk <clears throat> of trading is equivalent to life itself. Like um, anything can happen. You, you don't have to, you, you know, um, I, do, I would never say, yeah, it's risky, it's risky. Because mm. you, you, <laughs> you can walk downstairs and, yeah. then you, and somebody throws at you with a brick and then that's a risk. Yeah. You understand? So that I'm saying the risk equivalent is just as equivalent, as it's just as close as life. Mm. You don't, I wouldn't want to say that, no, um, there's a higher risk here. You know, you stand a better chance mm. to walk in Hillbro in the yeah. middle of the night than trading. Sure. Than trading forex, yeah. you know. Um, the danger of trading is just as as dangerous as walking into a club and hopefully hope, hoping that you come out yeah. not stabbed. You and know then in I terms mean? of numbers, let's get into numbers. Yeah. <clears throat> now these are specific questions. <laughs> um, what? But before I say, move to that. I think yeah. What is the highest amount mm -hmm. that you have seen? In your bank account, <laughs> of course, you have multiple accounts, I understand that. And <sighs> in your, what is it? In your Forex account, because it's, you have Forex account and then you have bank accounts. Yeah. Uh, so in, in, in your bank and in your Forex account. You don't have to disclose if yeah. you don't want to, you know. I mean, I, mean, you I can won't. Give me the approximate. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put the entire amount, like, I saw one yeah. test, you know, no, no. Um. I would say, or let me just maybe, let, let me describe maybe that <clears throat> 2019 me, you know, maybe yeah. two years of my first two years of me trading. Sure, sure. You know? That for me, um, when I first started trading, I think I made like my first million in about eight months. I don't remember. Yeah, eight months. Okay. So I, so I think that was, um, yeah, when I really saw like big money, like, yeah, you know, because back then, I, then because when I started, I was just in like 20, 30, 40, 30, 30, mm. 30 40, then. Then it started moving up. He like, man, mm. you know, eight hundred. So I'd say like one amount that really shocked me. Um, this the year was twenty eighteen, and I bought myself an A forty five, uh, brand new from the floor. I yeah, remember that. I think I had about, I think I had about three million rand mm. a year into, a year and a half into my trading. I had about mm. three, yeah, like three million rand. Sure. And I bought the car. So like, yeah, I'd say around. That yeah. was that was like that's that like was five big. years ago. <laughs> so that was something that really like, sure. blew my mind. I'm like, yeah, could get a millionaire. Yeah, you know. There's but this thing about you. Yeah. Um, you you love keeping it green. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I'll, I'll I'll come to that um, when I come to your cars, right? Mm -hmm. But keeping it green. How does it feel like now to? From a boy who was cutting people's yeah. grass and now cutting your own grass. Uh, oh, at I, have home. A, I have a crazy story of the green. Eh? Yeah. So, but to, let me start with the lighter part. The green just just describes like greener pastures ahead, you know, greener on this side, you know, this mm. type of stuff. But if I tell you where the green comes from, it's it's deep, you know. Um. So when I was when I was in primary school, when I got into like an English school, you know, I started making new friends in my hood where where around Rainbow where I stayed, mm. and um, I didn't have a bicycle. And my friends had bicycles, you know, and it got to a point where the one time I remember we uh, had to take a ride on bicycles to the mall, this other mall called Cresta. Mm. And then everybody had bicycles, just two of my friends, me and my, me and the one friend didn't have a bike. So I'm like, ah, my friend, today on are not here. Mm. I need I need a bicycle, you know. I've called my grandfather. He's like, I don't want to go to the mall. I school fees. Yeah. So uh, I stole one, bro. I went into, into this one complex that... um. A close, a close friend of mine, where he stays, his name is Chris, where he stays, where he, where he used to stay at the time. And then uh, I stole a bicycle from the third floor, a mountain bike. You Damn. know, I stole, I stole, me and my friend actually stole, stole two, because there's two kids living there, we stole both of their mm. bikes on the corridor. We took those bikes and then we took the ride to, to the mall and came back, but I never took the bike back. So the next day I woke up after school, I woke up, I went to the hardware. Uh, my grandfather got in Philly, 70 rand, gave mm. me 70 rand. And then I went to go buy green spray spray paint, lime green yeah. spray paint. And I sprayed that bike green. That's where it all started. That's where. Wow. That was my first fleet of wheels stolen. <laughs> Damn. You know, so that's <laughs> the green from there yeah, yeah. has been ever since. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's just positive. It's, it's, you it's know, part of you. Yeah, it's part of me. It's like, yeah, I mean, it's a spiritual thing. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's with me all the time. Yeah. And how does it feel like to, you know, to own a house? You said what? Mm. Uh, I'm sure you have how many properties you got at the age of 24? Yeah, I've got I've got a couple. I've got like four now. What? Yeah, I've got four now. Um, and then I alone I'm trying to get a stand of my yeah. own. So I'm currently building my granny's house. Okay. You know, so 
Um, once I'm down to my greenhouse, I think the Gokuman has ten and a guy, yeah, and he gets dressed some chinyag, you know. So, uh, so yeah, that's that's my plan, but yeah, I've got I've got I've got four properties on Airbnb right now, yeah, that I actually just bought recently, yeah, yeah, like three of them I just bought recently, nice, it's just like yeah, Airbnb, nice, I uh, just want to make money, you know, um, and yeah, I'm currently working on a property as we speak, mm, beautiful, so just, you know, still on the green, right. Your cars, I've seen, you know, the R8, mm. M4s, Polos, you name them, mm. uh, C63s at some mm. point, but it was in green. Mm. How how do you maintain all of that? Because those are, I, we're not talking about, you know, small cars. Mm. We're talking mm. about big engines and multiple of them. So how do you how do you maintain them? You know, that's why I was giving advice, Gary. Um, like you know, um, people when they start trading, they must take their time and put their money away. Yeah. Because you know? I'll make an example. The maintenance is just crazy. Not even maintenance, just a normal day life. So let's just say, for you to come here, yeah, you petrol. Know, <laughs> you know, even just to be, let's say, I just want to maybe go, I don't know, to a, to the park, mm. or like just go take some pictures. If if, or I'll make a better example. Let's say I just want to drive to Limpopo with three cars. Mm. To go home and come back is like seven thousand, with all three cars, full tank and the R8. It's like two thousand. M4 is like 1.5. And then um, in the other cars, like the fully built M3 is like about 1.5 as well. So yeah, I don't know where so I'm you going to Oh yeah, you forgot you got two um, M's. Yeah, yeah, I got two M's, yeah. I've, yeah. Got, I've, got, an, I've got an M4 and an M3. And then I fill, I fully built an M3, you know. So yeah, just to take three cars to Uya Limpopo Lowe. Yeah. Get 10,000. Can you get Yeah. Yeah. Toll gate. You know, that, and that's not even maintenance. Get patrol or fail. And then if maybe one gets a puncher, Ish. there's like three, five. Or four thousand rand. If two get a punch, I'm looking. So, uh, like, yeah, like it's 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 not a it's not a simple thing, you know. Mm-hmm. You just need to be patient. If if people want to really want to do this, yeah. If there's somebody out there who's a trader and loves cars, and uh, those guys will ask tough. Yeah, <laughs> you know, uh, it's not something that easy, yeah. you know? easily like. Yeah. Um. Yeah, man. Yeah, the maintenance is it's really wild. Yeah. Man. To service one car, to I service. I recently serviced my R8. As soon as I got it, the next day I put I, I put into service. Yeah, and um, that cost I think that was about thirty eight thousand. Wow. The M four is the thirty k alone to service. <laughs> you know, so uh, hey, she's big the, figure. Yeah, the Gucciache. Yeah. Oh itself, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, yeah. I've got a Gucci legendary. Ah, that one is you know. Yeah, hey, I'm sure you you always protecting yeah, that. Yeah, right? always, always. That's my favorite car. Yeah. So by the way, thank you for 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 you know somebody could have and that that's why I picked up that you. You're actually humble mm. because I requested, I asked you to to come in the R8. Somebody else could have said, nah, bro, you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm a rock up with what I feel like driving today. But you agree, you know, yeah, thank nah. you for that. You've actually uh, honored the invitation. But then let's jump to this one. How often do you get DMs, especially from the ladies? <laughs> ah, man, the ladies, the mummies are too much. Right? <laughs> <laughs> um... Yeah, it happens, man. Every every day, maybe. Yeah. Every second day, to, yeah, you know. Which which is which oh, is what, 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 what like what, what are they talking about? Like whether it's ladies or guys, what what are they saying? You know, man. I mean, the lady part is quite simple. You know, not even yeah. like we, speaking about the ladies from from even a good point. You know, every woman wants a good guy. Yeah. A guy that's out of global financially like, stable. You know? Yeah. Because man, that's our responsibility. You know? mm-hmm. So I don't blame them for sliding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, man. They they just wanna you know. So it's cool, yeah. you know. But like, yeah, there's a lot. Yeah, there's things like that. But some just tell you, right now, I want you now. Mm. Or some tell me, oh, hey, please teach me how to trade. Or some say... Oh, that's the yeah, way of going in. You know, so... Yeah. yeah, there's just... Yeah, some I, I realize I'm like, ah, no, no. When yeah. I... Yeah, that's yeah. Some are just... We're just friends. Some just, just want to be friends. You yeah. Know? Some just want to be close. And because women also want this thing. Yeah. So some ladies just come. They're like, yo, your leadership, how are you doing it? Yeah. Like, you know, there's a few... Quite a few females actually right now that I'm close with. Mm. That I like, they want to be genuinely, yeah, yeah. genuinely, yeah. Tower, no, one they want to, they want to know what this thing is about. So not all of them really come in foul, but yeah, I must say, eighty yeah. percent, yeah, and they 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 coming for the paper. Yeah, speaking <laughs> of DMs, um, it it happened at some point that uh, you you got a DM, and I don't know whether it was a female or a male. Yeah. Um, you took the responsibility to go and help out as leadership. Uh, oh, yes, yes. as leadership uh, uh, found, yeah. foundation, yeah. right? So uh, tell me, how, 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 what actually triggered you to actually, you know, take that DM seriously? Mm-hmm. And how, how, how was the experience for you to actually help 
them because of what 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 really happened to the house because the house yeah. looked like the rain whatever or the yeah, got banned out. So what what triggered you and how was the experience of 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 helping them out? Bro, I think you know some stuff is just God, eh? Mm. You know um so the previous night I was at, I was at home and actually I was just chilling with um I think I was with my assistant at the time, my previous one and we were talking about how we we want to go and help people like Kokasi and all of that, you know. Mm. But then it, it just wasn't well pro- procrastinating too much. Then in the midnight, I think I was outside just taking a walk in the estate. Mm. And then I checked my DMs and then um, her name pops up. You know, I just don't want to say her name because now people, you know. Sure, oh, people. yeah, of course, of course. So just to protect her, you know. So her name, just put, I just see this DM and I see it. Mm-hmm. I open her profile um, and then there's no pictures there. And I'm yeah. like, yo, this could be like a scam. But I'm like, then I respond. Then she's like, yo, I need help. Leadership, please. You're the only one. Blah, blah, blah. Um, my, it's, my, I'm, I work in Centurion. My mom stays in Hamaskara, mm. but she just called me and say, the, f- the flu, I mean, that the roof flew off. Sorry about that. You know, the roof flew yeah. off. Yeah. You know, and I'm like, the roof, she's like, no, it was raining, it was bad, and the, our, our entire house is wired. I don't have a dad. It's only me and my mom. I'm the only child, you know? <laughs> but then, still, I didn't believe it. So I'm like, okay, send me pictures. And she sends me videos. And mm. in the videos, bro, um, the mom is actually crying. And she's, you know, so... I'm like, yeah, I know this is real. Real, yeah. You know? So I didn't, uh, I, I wasn't feeling like I'm like the richest guy to do that. You know, I just mm. took, I was like, yo, even if I was at a low low point, even if I wasn't even a forex trader, just a normal guy, if I had that extra 200,000, I was going to go help, you know. Um, and I think anybody would have done it if they were in that position, you know. So I reached out, I'm like, give you a number. And then she gave me a number, I called, I'm like, where are you? She's like, I'm on my way home. This is about 3 in the morning, she's trying to get transport home, mm. you know. Yeah, and then first thing in the morning, um, I made a few calls to to one of my close friends. I'm like, yo, this situation come through. What do you think? I think I want to help. Mm. And then yeah, the guys uh, were like, yeah, no, I think uh, you wouldn't be doing wrong. Let's let's reach out. And mm. then uh, then I spoke to to my assistant, and then she he made it happen. Then we just got like two of our guys. The foundation was yeah. just went out there, and then I I was with them, and we had to look at the situation. Yeah, and I met the mom. You know, they're a very chilled family, very nice. Sure, we had a conversation, and I was like, "Yo, I'm, I'm just here to to just make sure you, you're back in the house with them." Yeah, because they didn't have a place to sleep. So I got a construction. I had to source a guy. Oh, guy, oh, guy, oh, guy, Yeah, you know, I call him. Yeah, yeah, call a guy from construction guy from Limpopo. He he got in. He arrived in Hamaskara within about four hours. Mm. I'm like, come with all your tools. I need you to put this roof back up and a brand new roof within the next 48 hours. And those guys, they did it. Wow. You know, and you, yeah, thanks, man. I appreciate it. And yeah, and they put up the roof. In fact, they made the house look very nice. Yeah. You know, the previous roof wasn't, it wasn't yeah. the best. And then the next roof. It clicked. I was coach roof. You know, so I was happy. I was more yeah. than happy with that. And I God knew that God was going to bless me, you know. So I don't yeah. think that was, that's my doings, you know. Mm. Um, uh, we all move with, with a certain spirit, a certain sure. energy. Sure. And all yeah. Because I know that I'm not, a, I'm not, I'm not that generous, man. Yeah. But um, I was there. I was, we did it, and I'm still Beautiful. doing it. You know, I'm, like I say, I'm I'm not actually really a generous guy. But look, I mean, people I've mentored. You know, mm. I've got over hundreds, and you know, yeah. people that I've shown how to do this thing yeah. in the industry. But I'm, I, I tell you now, I'm not a nice guy. You know, I'm yeah. not I'm not the type of guy to just give money. Yeah, I'm not the type of guy to just share information. But yet, come um, I live the opposite of who I think I am. Mm. You know, my existence is clearly like. I'm, I'm always just trying to change life. I, sure. I was never about changing lives. You know, I don't. In my private time, like if you find me just chilling maybe at home on the couch, bro, I don't even want, I don't even want to talk about work or Forex. Yeah. Like don't even ask me about how much <laughs> Forex is, you know? So I yeah. know, like, so I'm not, you know, I, I know that I'm, I'm really working in a, in a certain spirit, a certain existence. Mm. I know that God is working. I know? love the fact mm. that, you know, you, mm. you, you got that because some people are not actually spiritually sensitive. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. I, I love the fact that, you know, and not many people nowadays your age mm-hmm. can still speak about God. So I love yeah, the sure. fact that you, you know, you you still in you still connect. You, you still realize yeah. that there's a higher power of beyond course, money of and all of that. Yeah. yeah. yeah that, that's that's just me. So that's why little Jagid and what I'm doing, you know, um just I fight in the energy around trading and I try mm. to trying to authenticate yeah. and verify the industry sure. in the public space. It's not me, man. It's not my responsibility. Mm-hmm. You know that means uh, there is there is a higher power. You know there is something in which, 
Eleven, so I'm, I'm feel responsible. I feel I've been placed in the position, so mm. why not utilize it? Yeah, one of the things that um, did you want to continue? This? No, 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 no. Okay. Um, one of the things that triggered me to actually invite you. Uh, of course, you you in the forex and you're one of the prominent people, but there's two things. One. I've been following you for quite some time as well. Mm-hmm. And I realized that at some point you posted uh, Lil Mary. Mm-hmm. Right. And he was on this platform. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And because you are somebody who was so close to me, mm-hmm. I'm like, you know, someday I, I need to invite this guy yeah, to, true. To, to, to the platform. And he gets to, and yesterday <clears throat> it was actually his birthday. Jeez. You know, like on the time that we're doing the interview, the people who are going to watch it at home, uh, we did it after his birthday. So yesterday it was actually his birthday. Um, so I want to know, like, through why, why why did you decide to, to post him? And, like, did he mean anything to you or did he inspire you in yeah. some ways? Uh, what, what, what triggered that post? When I, um, like I said, bro, like I, I, I believe I'm a young person. I believe in young people mm. and I pull inspiration from younger people. And I'm not, I'm not trying to be inspired by a 45 year old. I know I'm going to be as big as him at 45, mm. you know? So when, when, when Lil Mary, uh, <laughs> you know, so, sure. so when Lil Mary, when I first heard his music, man, I was just inspired when I looked at. I think like Alemo Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I think yeah, we're around yeah. the same age. Sure. And what he was doing, you know, at, mm. um, at the time in the province or in the country, how people were being shaken by his music. Mm. You know, and and uh, we, we knew about his life, his private life, his personal life, and just the music as well was just unmatched, you know? Mm. And also, even now, I live in the city. And I'm bumping Lil Mary driving to Mall of Africa or yeah. driving to, I mean, Cape Town. I'm just there, you know. Then it's a big influence. It's, it's power. And I've seen happy kids like, but no, Lil Mary, but I go to Jaja, I want to go to Jaja, you know. So that me for me, I mean, my my actual goal was to meet him. And, yeah, man. I, I, yeah, I, I, I so wish, mm. like, mm. and I know you, you you could have somehow, some way played a role in, yeah. in his life. You Bro, know, that was I, my I so goal. Wish, yeah. That was my goal. I, 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 that was my goal. It's just that, you know, unfortunately, life works the way it works. Mm. You know, plan, yeah, you know? Sure. But that was my goal. Because I was actually trying to meet him. There was a few guys that I knew that knew him. You know, mm. like, you um, should have uh, called me, but unfortunately, <laughs> by then, you know, we you didn't know? know each other. So yeah. I was like, yeah, only I got a job bag or anything. Mm. You know, can I please get to? Because you know, I think his talent really deserved an amplifier. Yeah. You know, it 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 needed um, just some cash injection. He mm. needed to. Uh, he was making money with the music. You know, like I said, the celebrities that I know right now that I've I know are making money and are sustaining their careers because of the forex trading mm. industry. So I think Lil Mary was gonna be one of Africa, mm. Afri- like so Limpopo's biggest in in South Africa yeah. after getting the financial. Boost, you know, yeah. that, that Vienna to go to gigs, that house, Ish. you know, like just that that money to be able to maintain his own team, you know, because yeah. now he focused on the talents, wow, the perfect man. studios. Yeah. So that was, that's what it really inspired me, man. Mm. Yeah, little Mary, like his music will live on and, mm. you know, rest in peace to him. And yeah, man, um, that's what inspired I'm me. Okay. That's why I posted the video. <laughs> Second uh, uh, reason now why I brought or I decided to bring you here mm. is uh, I think I spoke to you about him before um actually wanted to be here his name is umpile uh he works at uh mall of africa sports scene mm-hmm. so he actually wanted to be here because he's always talking about you he's <laughs> like hey man you should check out this guy yeah i'm so inspired by him and one thing he he said you know ask him to to donate something to limbova podcast should yeah. it be in a form of a product should it be in a form of monetary should it be in, in terms of knowledge you know however he can and the other thing he actually said mm-hmm. um what is it in terms of classes mm-hmm. uh of course maybe sometimes because your your classes are so rare yeah uh, is it possible for you at least for him to spend at least a couple of hours, you show him just a little bit of 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 of, of what you do, and he's he's such a big fan. Like, trust me, he's yeah, like okay, okay. okay. Every time I, I'm with him, he's 
he talks about you full nah, time. Sure, we can make it happen. Uh, yeah. I, I make an exception. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, and so people always get this wrong. I don't teach one on ones because I, I've got pride or agnyag. Yeah. I've created so many t- successful traders in yeah. the industry. No, I think even for you him, just to hit, to, is it? Yeah, with wow. him, I'll deal with him personally. I okay. want to, I don't mind, you know, passing the skill directly to him. Yeah. Because um, I can feel the way you're explaining how much. No, he does. Yeah, like, yeah no, no, with him, um, I, I, we'll, we'll make time. Let's make yeah. time and then. Okay. Uh, come through, you can come through to my house. Yeah. And then, yeah, we sit in. I think just meeting you and, will and be then, such a Big, 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 and yeah, he like, loves cars. Nah, let's make it happen. <laughs> yeah, let's make it happen. Yeah, let's make it. Let's 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 give him the knowledge, some inspiration, yeah. and just push him. You know, nice. so now nah, let's make it happen. Nice. And then with the uh, with the donation, anything really, uh, I have no problem. I think I will have a conversation about that. Okay, and see really what's the whole purpose. Sure, and uh, I like yeah, that. Yeah, and then yeah, I think if. Um, it does look it, it, like sometimes I mean, people get it wrong. Mm-hmm. You know, sometimes when we speak about donation, we are not talking about money. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean. It, it it can be anything. It can be knowledge. It can be equipment. Mm. It can be a, a product that possibly that you yeah, you have. I get you, it can yeah. be anything as long as it comes from you. You, you, yeah, know, what I, you know what I mean? Yeah. So sometimes people get it wrong. Um, we're about to conclude now. Uh, something that I wanted to ask you is: How do you look after yourself mentally and spiritually because financially you are taking care of <laughs> you know what i mean so mentally and Sorry. spiritually how are you taking care of yourself um look yeah it's, it's you know it's been challenging over the years yeah over the years uh, you know nobody really is perfect you know yeah. so i've um i've challenged myself recently you know just uh to start going back to church but i've always been a praying child you know yeah. um i mean i mean like I've always been a, a ZCC, yeah. You know, so um, that's where prayer is not really like a, an extra effort for me. Mm-hmm. I just definitely. Like, or I be like, control or gidiya wano lang jigama. Yeah, like you know, that. like uh, easy. It's, I, I, I pray. I pray. Like I prayed when I said you. Mm. You know. So, mm. but you obviously you probably wonder. Yeah, why, no. Like, isn't it? We pray in different mm, ways. Yeah, exactly. I, so, I understand that. Yeah. So spiritually, I've never. 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 Yeah, I think I'm 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 the genius guy. I think I am, and then some days I, it's it's just a lot. Mm. You know, my life is just too much. Some days I can't keep up. Yeah, yeah. There are, you know, there are days where I just wake up. I just want to lay down and just you know you know get tired. Yeah, you know because I feel like I yeah legit in you know like you you know I can go like, um like in a space of two days. Go on a normal chat like maybe hundred and fifty thousand high. You know, home family members. Mom, mom, my cousin, I want phone or keep chat. Hey man. So my life is, has changed drastically, even on, even on the personal side, you know. And I still have to be myself. I must be a kid, but I'm not going to be one. I'm only 24. And I still want to jive. Let's listen in the way you go to the seat. You know, that's what I'm No, girl, just to, yeah. <laughs> just forget about, I'm a breadwinner, you know. Yeah. I'm, I'm that guy at home. Sure. And only, like, I'm full of, if they call me for two days in a row without picking up, there's a chance they'll be in the dark. There's sure. a chance. The, the cars will move, there's a chance there's no food, you know. So um the mental side of it, I'm still currently dealing with it. In fact, yeah. I'm seeing I'm currently seeing a psychologist, you know, who mm. just makes me understand that um this is my life, you know, and I own it. And uh, I'm not I'm not I've not become somebody else. Yeah. Because because um I, there was a point in my life where you feel like I don't know. I I you as well as people. I used to feel I used to feel like no um you know, I'm I'm living somebody else's life. Sure. You know, because of I know my life. Now I know, like I know I, I grew up we used to sleep seven of us in a back room. Mm. You know, more big law and other people that my granny worked for didn't want me there. So I used to leave the house, got three amounts as I told you, and get in at night. Ish. You know, so that's my life. Mm-hmm. And I was happy with that. I was never depressed there. You know, I'm really happy with pull up because I don't know. Yeah. You know? So that's the life I know. Life you about to go low, you know, I don't know, you know, those kind of like financially, bro, like just being so capable, you know, mm. like do you understand, like, like right now, if a call comes in and maybe like a million rand is needed, that's going to happen within two minutes. You know, that's something that I never dreamt of. That's something that not even dream. 
Like, you know, like it's, I, I used to hear about this stuff. I never even tried to imagine myself. Mm. Like, you know, like, like the, 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 the young people that are coming today, the 16 year olds, they're so privileged. The internet allows them to dream that. Yeah. You know, at six, you know, there's a 15 year old, or even the one time I was in Tembisa. There's a 12 year old child that I imagine, man, I'm a one full by a millionaire. <laughs> I was selling fed cakes. Just, I just wanted to put together 70 rand. Yeah. I never thought of a million. I never, even 100,000. It's far. It was yeah. far fetched. So, but sometimes that mm, consciousness needs you know, to trigger and you, you, every now, you kick it, back. Yeah. It happens to me all the time. You know? And that's why one of the reasons why I struggled with depression at, at a point in my life. You know, um, like um, I went through it last year as well, mid last year. Um, yeah, my life was just like, just not stable. I was just like, like emotionally. Heavy, like, yeah. You know, it, it's just a lot. And I'm just like, oh. Okay. And sometimes people think mm. that, you know, people with, who've got the financial capabilities, they mm. are not really human. You know, you guys can overcome yeah, everything because, because you got the money. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it's the wrong um, yeah, it's perception. Yeah. We, my, you know, and I'm, I'm not saying that I don't want to make it sound like I'm weak or like I'm mental health, which is boy or yeah. anything. I'm saying and for anybody who's watching is that like, um, when, when you break out, when you break that, 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 that cycle in your family you know when you when you finally crack it when you become the anchor in your family and the hope of your family the challenge is no longer become financial mm. it's about you you know because when you break out bro you leave the people in that and you when you save them out they don't go through what you go through you know what i mean mm. my younger brother goes through his own challenges but mm. you will never know what it is to 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 be as broke as I was, to be that financially, mm, to be the yes. only one who was capable of giving life, you know. So sure. so when for 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 all the bread witness that are obviously gonna listen to this is, just know, just take care of your emotional side and the mm. spirit mentally as well when you break out. Yeah. But before break, those guys psychologists team was not challenge. Yeah, you know, the psychologists <laughs> yeah. and all of that, and uh, and don't give attention. Um, my mentor. Um, always says this to me, um, you know, one good mentor of mine who helps in like mental, psychofinancial, yeah. you know, he will always speak every day. Uh, you know, in his, he's quite old, he's like in his 40s, you know. And he always says to me, um, never major on the minor stuff. You know, so in every single uh, phase of your life, always focus on the major stuff. So there was a point in my life where having a psychologist was not important. There was a bigger thing. There was, there was my granny's uh, uh, medication that I have to make sure or but we get down, they like heal. Yeah. The next week they are bored. Mm. Understand? That was the minor. That, that was the major stuff. So all the minors that bothered me, like uh, my little brother doesn't have school shoes. Mm. You put on air forces. You put on the cap cap. I mean, yeah. I need you to focus on the major stuff. So people just need to learn that even when they become uh, um, forex traders or just go into any field mm. you know, besides forex trading, just prioritize the major stuff. Those way, that's where the moves I'm, I, I add. You know, like um, if if in anything, what's gonna go low? You yeah. Know? Uh, on a, in a car, really, what needs to work is the engine, the gearbox, and the wheels. Yeah. Know? If the boot doesn't close, what for a trap? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like if 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 the, your windows have a problem, just put sellotape. You know, because all those window problems, those are minor stuff. But the car will move if you focus on if you focus on the major wow, stuff. So man. that's what it's carried me. That's what's carrying me right now. Yeah. I give attention. Again, another problem. Again, feel like my heart is, I'm I'm low. Then I again, what's bothering me? If I find out or no, maybe it's because. Um, I don't know, my, my uncle was, was, was rude to me or mm. somebody mistreated me. But then I asked myself, is that really that major? Mm. Is it that important to spoil wow. my mood? Yeah. Then I flip, I'm like, give me my energy. Yeah. Because then I, then I call one or somebody close, I'm like, yeah. Then I forgot you. So yeah. just focusing on the major stuff has carried me. Bro, I've, I've, I've got so much hate from what I do. Obviously. You know, just You're last bound, night. You just, yeah, yeah. Just, just last night, I, 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 people just told, I were talking about me on social media, you know, just saying some uncomfortable stuff. Mm. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't take that. I don't feel it at all. Only the people around me who came out to like protect me, like, ah, what are you saying about this guy? But I'm like, so I gave the, because I didn't see all of this. I gave them a call, I'm like, call in the morning, gave one of my boys a call. And I'm like, well, relax, man. It's not worth it. Mm. Those are minor stuff. Giving somebody attention for saying, one, two, three. That, that's you're actually that's, moving into mm. their field. By yeah, you, 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 yeah, you're prioritizing stuff that are not even gonna just take that time. Mm. You were, you were, I can relate. Get to into that. your laptop, yeah. make your money, mm. or call your mom, tell her you love her. Ish. That's major. It'll change the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, your day, you'll be feel, you feel mm. better. So I choose to focus on, that, focus on that. And I mean, even those who don't like me who are gonna watch this podcast mm. will tell you that I've ah, never man. entertained, I've never entertained their hate. Now, uh, trust me. Mm. Um, 
I, I believe, you know, you're so young and the things that you talk about, I'm sitting here young as you are as well. And I'm so inspired. I'm talking about myself. You know, this hasn't gone out. It's still in the room, you know. Mm-hmm. I think by the time it leaves the room, uh, so many young people are going to be inspired, not just because of the knowledge that you have, yeah. uh, but your story is so touching, you know. Never mind. Let's let's put away the financial side, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, but true. your story, like your upbringing, you know, the way you're carrying yourself right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's so many people that are gonna not only young people and mm-hmm. older people as well who probably in life they have made mistakes and they mm-hmm. look at you they're like, mm-hmm. yo, this boy is he's focused because you sound very much focused, you know. And uh, I just want to thank you for for actually making time to to pop in. I know it has probably taken some of your time that you should be, you know, uh, conducting your business, but it means so much, not to me, but to the people who watch this platform, you know, both you and I are from a province that is not so privileged. And, you know, whenever people back home get to realize that, you know, our province can export such such good products. True. true. it, 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 it might not uh, be a big thing now, mm-hmm. but it is. We are definitely paving a way, you know, for those who will come after come us, after, learning yeah. from us, and True. so forth. True. So I'm so inspired, and we are moving towards. Um, a, a part of me kind of wishes that this was episode fifty, but we are moving towards episode fifty of Limbo Podcast, uh-huh. and it's so beautiful that you know we're setting all this footprints nicely so yeah, I, even now i still don't know who's gonna be episode 50 yeah but the fact that you came and you laid you know your 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 footprint I appreciate it's such it, a man. blessing to me and to the I rest of the, of, of, of the people I, I wanted to say uh at the end you know what would you advise somebody who's young out there but you know this there's, there's so much that you spoke about mm-hmm. i don't know if you still wanna uh, in closing what would what would you like to say look man um I mean, I don't have much to say. I think I've really broken down a lot, yeah. you know, and I just need to, whoever that's going to watch this, um, just they just need to know that um, forex trading might be what I'm known for, mm. you know, but as the Kenya from my story, there's a lot, you know, that has to put in, that mm. there's a lot that way it came from, there's a lot where I'm going, you know, mm. and um, um, I hope they now I finally understand my vision. If they don't, mm. I'll keep going, yeah. you know, and... Uh, I'm not, I'm not impatient, you know yeah. what I mean? And for any of the young people who are interested in forex trading or just changing their lives, yeah. they mustn't doubt it. It's real. Mm. It's out there. They don't have to learn from me. They can learn from anybody they find that they trust. Um, there's a lot of people. There's multiple forex traders out there, you know, um, from FX Golds, there's Jason Noah. There's a lot of people mm. who really um, share the knowledge, you know, and and I'm, I'm that guy. I just want to see lives changed. You know, I don't, people don't have to leave the hood. They, they, they can stay there rich. It's okay. Mm. You know, we deserve, we deserve a fair share of the cake, mm. you know, and it's not even about a racial thing. It's not even about being black. It's not even about whether I'm from uh, Limpopo or not. Mm. You know, I, I'm for the people. I think, I think I, I just, nobody deserves to be selling fake cakes. Nobody. Mm. You know, I think um, that's, uh, we, we all deserve a, a generational breaker in our family mm. and, uh, this is just for me to them. Just you know, yeah. just keep going, carry yourself to the top. It's gonna be challenging, you know. Um, and just remember, always just prioritize what's important, you know. And um, even when life is challenging, because sometimes as people we fail because of re- we prioritize what's not really that important, you know. So I think I've, uh, I've like I said in my life, I'm, I'm pushing myself right now because I know what to place ahead of anything. You know, uh, I know I know how to hold myself. I'm not saying I'm perfect. You know, I make mistakes all the time. Mm. But I know every morning I wake up, because God, forgive me for this. Yeah. But this is my plan for the day. You know, so, um, yeah, just for me, to everybody that's going to watch it, um, just keep going, keep praying. Yeah. And even if I want to blood, yeah. just, just keep, keep stay persistent to what you know. Yeah. And knock on opportunities. Mm. You know, they mustn't under, under, underestimate the internet. Yeah. There's big platforms. There's pl- things like, um, sorry, if I'm not stopping, but uh, there's things like um, uh, there's drop shipping. There's, mm. there's big things that are happening on the internet. Mm. You know, the kids must know. These people, like especially from Limpopo, yeah. Limpopo deserves the internet. Exactly. Limpopo is a technology yeah. because, they do. Um, they, you know, I met this, um, uh, sorry to cut you short, 
I met this this uh, guy, this young freight close of mine. His name is Lincoln. Okay. You know, so he's currently now a freight trader and a drop shipper. You know, Lincoln is one of the most inspiring inspiring young guys of ever like, that I've recently met who inspired me. So this mm-hmm. guy is a is a one of the best drop shippers in the in the country, if not in Africa, mm-hmm. right? And he was interested in forex. You know, and then I'm like, how are you trying to make money? But you're making money. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, uh, what do you, how do you make money? Like, I'm doing drop shipping. And then I had a look at it. Mm. Only to find out this guy makes nothing less, less than 200,000 a month oh. from this thing called drop shipping. Yeah. These things of selling, you know, opening stores. This is all the, on the internet, just from a laptop. You know, mm. also over 50 stores on there. You know, and I'm, that's when I knew that this thing is beyond Forex. The internet is here to lead. It's here yeah. to change lives. And, and people must get, look at your smartphone. Like, yeah. you know, the, the, the kids need the internet. Yeah. That's all they need to find a future. Yeah. And I guarantee even if your parents don't have money for varsity, once you've got the internet, there's a place. Because people like Lincoln, yeah. who he's making so much money before Forex. Now he's making money in Forex mm. and in dropshipping. The one day he's just like, I don't know, he made to close about half a million. Damn. Forex, dropshipping. Because we want to, I want to get to a point where I'm involved in anything that has to do with the internet. Yeah. You know, all the time. Yeah. Internet money, she's not just hope the kids must not underestimate the internet. Yeah. Um, they must take their time. How about, how about the, the, the working, the internet cafe, if they don't have Wi-Fi. Yeah. Like the, I've seen people go to clinics, there's free Wi-Fi. How about, how about, how about, how about, yeah. Beyond Forex, the internet is the future. Nice. And that's that's where they belong. That's where we all belong. That's where I'm at. Yeah. I don't see myself doing an nine to five. Anything, yeah. With no disrespect to yeah. it. The internet. No, those even, are your goals. Yeah. You know, even the people who are in, for the, yeah. you know, even the people who are in nine to fives. They need the internet. Yeah. You know? I mean, we we all operate on the internet. You know, you know bro, that's the only way to really evolve. That's yeah. the only way we can allow ideas like people like Elon Musk mm. to interact in the platforms. You know, the other day somebody was like, um, uh, a pilot lost their job to mm-hmm. a drone. I'm like, no, unless that pilot did move with the internet, then they didn't lose their job because they're somewhere at home making money, chilling on a chair now and realize that that job that they wanted to do was not sustaining. Yeah. You understand? So people, you, we cannot blame the internet for making a drone yeah. just because a pilot is jobless. Yeah. The pilot must just adjust. Add the idea for Rex. Yeah. Here's the, he's got pension money. You know what I mean? Nice. So those type of stuff. Teachers, they say, no, um, now there's this system that's coming that's going to be educating people. The teachers are getting affected. Then mm. let them adjust. Let them the people need to adjust to the internet. That's the only way we're going to evolve. That's the only way I'm going to be here and then get I, my car. I'm like, no, it must go to the car wash. Get, I send the car message, go to the car wash. Mm. Because the technology will be so advanced. You know, the more we entertain the internet, the more creative we'll become. That's true. And the more the creativity, when that lands, it's done. Like it's it's at, at the end of it. Just yeah. the people need to really uh, interact with something that can allow us to grow. Mm. You know, um, hard labor is not the direction, you mm. know. I don't move in. My China, they're, they're, they're making things that are busy building walls on their own. Ish. You know, what's wrong with us in South Africa? Mm. South Africa is the most advanced country in Africa for me. I've traveled mm. all over Africa and I tell you South Africa is the most advanced. So we, we're underestimating ourselves. We're sleeping on, on the privileges that we have, you know? And like from today, bro, I'm expecting you to text me like, yo, yeah. You know? like I was about to say, like, I'm not, yeah. I've always said that, ah, you know what, this, yeah. but... After listening to you, it's, I'm like, I'm like, oh, this yeah, guy is convincing yeah, me to that. It's, it's no longer about passion now. Yeah. You know, my passion is soccer, bro. Yeah. My passion is football. Yeah. That's when you understand. My passion is football. What I'm doing now is nothing close to my passion. Yeah. You understand? But you got to move with time. Mm-hmm. People, this thing, or forex, I said, Lojaga. Yeah. Dropshipping, I said, Lojaga. Or having an online store is not my thing. Yeah. It's not... It's not the direction we need to. We need to move with the internet, you know? Nice. There's so much that could happen if we make people understand that making money of something you're not passionate about does mm. not mean that it, it, that your life is done, yeah. you know? I still, my vision is to own a football club. And one day people will see I, me on TV. I, 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 I hope we own, like, we, 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 we like, sort of, like, co-own. Because yeah. I, that's, that's part of It's coming, life. bro. It's coming, yeah. definitely. I still want to play professional. Just one season. Meh. Uh, but yeah, soccer club, that's my vision. Yeah, and I'm not stopping. Uh, that's, that's my current vision. Please involve me in that. Like, of course. I'm bro. such a big fan, bro. Like, I'm, I'm such a big fan. So you're going to be the next... Um, <laughs> <laughs> Andy Le. Ah. <laughs> you play for your own club. <laughs> yeah, no, that's the goal. That's the yeah. dream. You know, that's, my, yeah, my, uh, you're currently supporting locally and internationally. Uh, and I'm with... I'm with Kayla Chiefs. Yeah. You know, but I'm, I'm... Yeah, yeah, I must give respect to Sundowns. You yeah. Know? But internationally, I know Man City. 
Ah, if uh, I'm a Holland boy, we, I'm, you know, we 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 we, we like this. Yeah, Cause but because of PSG like... and Messi, I support Messi alone. Yeah, <laughs> Messi alone is football. <laughs> so yeah, okay. Messi Messi will go all yeah. his whole life. So that's I support well, Messi. I think we 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 like this when it comes to and which is good. I'm <laughs> menu. Uh, you are Man City. Mm-hmm. I'm Ronaldo. You are Messi. So. I know. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. It's a good combination. <laughs> Otherwise, man. Thank you so much for coming. I think you appreciate uh, it. Man. You dropped a lot of knowledge, guys. I don't know what to say. I, I don't want to add more. Uh, you had it all. The internet. I think that is the focal point. The internet is the future. Right here, we're sitting with the man who is, you know. I don't want to say too much, but I think from what you said, you've learned, you've gotten to learn so much. Um, we are moving forward. Episode 50 coming. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, follow the man. There's so much you can learn from him outside this platform. It's very important. Thank you so much for watching this episode. See you on the next one. Limbo Podcast. Say well.